episode of the school year. At this time, all students should be in a room in their homes. Please stand for your Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to start off today's show by congratulating last week's game winner, Aiden Richard, from the homeroom of Miss Califano. Nice job, Aiden. Well, here we are, folks, the final episode of JFK Live for the school year. Where did the time go? Since our first episode on October 4th, we've shared some pretty incredible moments. We want to thank you all for making the past year very special and certainly memorable. And JFK Live isn't the only thing wrapping up soon. Our virtual sports season will be wrapping up in the coming days as well. Virtual sports have certainly been a different and exciting opportunity for students here at JFK. But let's face it, folks. The sports world around the globe has been turned upside down the past few months. Let's hear from our resident sports expert, Tommy Lagan, on what he has to say about the current state of sports around the world. That's right, folks. It's the epic return of Tommy's TDs, triples, and threes. Take it away, Tommy. The NCAA tournament has been canceled. The NHL likely will not be the last, but the 
What are we gonna do? Hi, this is Tommy Lager from Tommy's TE Triples and Threes. This coronavirus is making the world go crazy with canceling not only school, but sports too. During this time with no sports, people are just itching to fill the void. Many are turning to esports. Just a few weeks ago, the NBA held the NBA 2K20 player tournament. Each team sent one player to compete in this tournament. Players had to play head to head against each other. And congratulations to Devin Booker for being the champion of this tournament. Michael Jordan filmed a documentary before the big shutdown. ESPN showed the doc in a 10 part series. The documentary is very interesting, especially because there were no sports to watch. This was a very satisfactory substitution. Since Korea has opened fully, ESPN has shown games of the Korean baseball organization. It was really nice to see live sports on TV for the first time in three months. Well, Thanks for tuning in on Tommy's TDU Shibbles and Threes. Stay safe, everyone. I'll see you next year. Wow, Tommy. Thank you for that home run of a segment. Get it? Home run? Because it was a sports seg... Oh, forget it. Hey, Daniela. What's up next this morning? Well, I'm glad you asked. Next up, we have the return of Matthew's Mindful Minute. This morning, Matthew is here to share with us some really useful summer mindfulness tips. Take it away, Matthew. Hey guys, didn't see you there. I was just practicing some meditation in my pool. It's really calming just to feel the sun hitting your body. Also, can you guys believe there's only two more days of school left? Even with remote learning, the school year went really fast. But even though school's almost over, you shouldn't kick away those mindfulness habits. You're not doing it for the school, you're doing it because it feels good. And you should want to feel good during the summer. And also, don't forget to be athletic and stay in shape. Don't be lazy. Also, still see, still see your friends. Even though, even though we still have to practice social distancing, it's a good idea just maybe to stop by somebody's house. Also, maybe invite some friends outside. Throw some marshmallows, make some s'mores. Be tasty and fun. Have a great summer, JFK, and remember to stay in the mindful moment. Wow, thank you, Matthew. I know I'll be taking those tips with me and putting them into use this summer. And wow, nice pool. Well, folks, if you haven't caught on yet, today you're going to be seeing all of this year's anchors, as well as an addition of every segment we featured this year. And we had a ton of incredible segments this year. Shredding with Schneider, Tommy's TDs, Triples and Threes, Matthew's Mindful Moment, Costanzo Comedy Corner, Dining with Daniel, and of course, all of our Name That Games. But who could possibly keep track of all the Name That Games? There were so many. Did you know we played over 30 Name That Games this year? Well, somebody out there better have kept track because that happens to be our final game of the school year. And folks, it's one of our biggest games ever. You're about to watch six different Name That's from this past school year. Your job is properly name what you see and tell us what that week's name was. It sounds tricky, but you'll get the hang of it. Who will be our final winner of the school year? Our winner will be announced via email ASAP. Good luck. The second button literally makes or breaks the shirt. Look at it. It's too high. It's in no man's land. You look like you live with your mother. Are you through? You do, of course, try on when you buy. Yes, it was purple. I liked it. I don't actually recall considering the button. Oh, you don't recall? Red, I've been thinking, maybe this Thanksgiving we should skip the big turkey. Small ones are on sale at Piggly Wiggly. This family doesn't scrimp on holidays. Can you imagine my mother sitting down to a chicken? Red, your mother won't eat my cooking anyway, so that won't be a problem. Dad, they should sleep in the basement. Red, last Thanksgiving she said her jaw wasn't strong enough to chew the turkey. Get in the dow, kid.
<laughs> Victory is mine! <laughs> the ICC are away! <laughs> You look like you want to tell me something. You look like you have something really important to say and you just can't for some reason. Come on, you can tell me. You can tell me anything. Believe in yourselves. Dream. Try. Too good. <sighs> you coming with us, Mr. Feeney? <laughs> you gonna sneak up on us in Central Park or something? <laughs> no, I shall remain here. No, you'll always be with us. As long as we live, okay? I love you all. Class dismissed. The name Nats were Seinfeld, and the theme was Name That First Episode, That Semi Show, and the theme was Name That Thanksgiving Special, Jingle All the Way, and the theme was Name That Holiday Movie, Beetlejuice, and the theme was Name That Broadway Musical, Jim and Pam, and the theme was Name That Beloved TV Couple, Boy Meets World, and the theme was Name That Famous Final Scene. So whoever our winner is, congratulations. But folks, don't go anywhere. We still have plenty of JFK lives to get to. Wow, that game was tough. It's way too early to make my brain work that hard. Don't they know it's almost summer? I just need a laugh. So I think it would be a perfect time for the return of the Costanzo Comedy Corner, hot off their comedy tour following their epic performance at the virtual variety show. These brothers are back and ready to perform for you one last time before the end of the school year. Take it away, boys. <laughs> Hello, JFK. Welcome to our summer edition of Stan's Comedy Corner. Get ready to laugh. Thomas, what do frogs eat in the summer? I don't know. What do frogs eat in the summer, James? Popsicles. James, why didn't the sun go to college? I don't know. Why didn't the sun go to college? Because it already had, like, a million degrees. The other day, I saw a seagull at the bay. Really? It must have been a bagel. Hey, guys! Look, Look it's your brother, brother Nick. Guys, the other day I was at the beach and I saw a mermaid! Wow, Nick. Did you talk to her? Nope. She was on her shell phone. That's too bad. Hey, Nick, where do you think she'd go on vacation? I don't know, but I hear the Bahamas are really nice this time of year. Well, that's it for today's show. Hey, James, what did you say to the teacher when she said you'd miss summer school? I told her I didn't miss it at all. On a final note, to all the teachers at JFK, don't forget to jump in a pool this summer. It's a great way to test the water. Have a, Have a great summer, summer JFK. Ha <laughs> ha! Wow, that was hysterical. What a way to go out. Well, folks, that's all the segments we have for you this morning. Wait a minute. Do you smell that? No, folks, it's not the rock. It smells like school lunch. Could it be? Has our culinary king returned? Oh my goodness, there he is! <laughs> Don't you get it, Springfield? It's over. You lose. Now, if you'll excuse me, all this talk has made me hungry. Oh. 
Libby, you got Wendy's? <laughs> Did you get me one? No, last one. You gotta be kidding. You know what? Forget it. When we went to Italy last summer, we learned how to make granita di limone, an Italian dessert. And since it's summer, it's the perfect time to make it. Come on, let's go to the kitchen and I'll show you how. Now you may think, some desserts are hard to make, but this one's not. All you need is a couple lemons, a bowl, some water, and everyone's favorite, sugar. To start, we're going to add a cup of water and a half a cup of sugar. and let that heat. And over here, you take your biggest lemon and shave all the lemon zest off. The lemon zest is the yellow stuff. Don't shave off your fingers and don't forget to wash your lemons. Once you've shaved the zest off your lemon, that's what it should look like. And that's what your lemon should look like. Now, you cut your lemons And I'm going to use my grandfather's 1950s juicer to juice them lemons. Juice a little extra if anything didn't come out. Now you add it all together. Take your juice and pour it into your zest. Now take your sugar water mixture and pour that in here. Now give it a nice stir and put it in the freezer overnight and tomorrow we'll have a nice delicious granita di limone. Mm. 24 hours later. This is my granita di limone. Mmm, so refreshing. Great for the summer, and I hope you guys have a great summer. Hope to see you next year, and hopefully this summer you try some of my recipes. This is Dining with Daniel, signing off for the school year. Bone appetit. Thank you, Daniel. Well, folks, our time this year has come to an end, and since I've been a part of JFK Live for the last three years of my JFK career, I've been given the privilege of making the final remarks. I just want to take a minute to say thank you to Mr. Levy, my mom, and my amazing co-host Milo, and everyone from JFK who made my experience at JFK and on JFK Live one of the best memories I will ever have. I just want to let everyone know to never hold back and just go for anything you want to try. I started JFK Live in 2017 curious and ever since then more opportunities have come my way. I'm so proud that all of us as a community have come so far together and will continue to get further together. Don't miss me too much. Have a great summer, JFK! My girls, what it's all about. Betty, for some sunshine. For my hot take a chance. I'm here to stay, now I'm moving on. Way. Ready for a song of romance. Hey. Everybody's ready, going crazy, yeah, we're out. Come on and let me hear you say it now, right now. What time is it? Summertime. It's our vacation. What time is it? Party time. That's right, say it loud. What time is it? Time of our lives. Anticipate. Education vacation And the party never has to stop We've got the